Oh, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I know it's we live in a world where perils and dangers are on every hand, and life's time is fleeting, and judgment is coming, and Satan is busy, Guns are squaring himself across the path, for trying to prevent us from going ahead. But we hear you come to and we want to know thee and the power of thy resurrection suffering and be made conformable unto that death. And we want to know the beauty and wonder that it. And we pray for these who request the prayer. Oh, Christ Jesus, Christ Jesus. Thou who didst come in olden times in the form of a dove and from fire, and thou who didst come to Peter and to the Moravians and to the saints of New England, thou who didst come, O Lord, and fought here and there, just, oh, withhold not thy glory from us. We cry, show us thy glory, Lord, show us thy and teach us how to go on. Now grant we pray that this may be a good week, and if the devil makes it the worst week we've ever had, we'll have a naked intent and determination, and we'll calmly, quietly believe, even though we should even though the, the darkness should settle over us, we'll know it's the cloud of unknowing. It's the dark night of the soul that sees morning of the heart. And we won't be frightened. For we know thou didst go through the garden and through the cross and out of the darkness and into the tomb and out of the tomb and into the glory. So wilt thou lead thee and lead us and lead this church. And oh, we pray, bring us to a place where soon we may be under grace, spiritually prepared for a mighty outpouring of the an outpouring that shall bring in reality that which everybody's talking about and nobody has. And we shall testament spirituality back to Book of Acts Christianity again. Maybe out from us here there shall flow into the desert way and fire that shall touch churches and groups of us. as we wait. And above all things, show us thyself, thyself, Lord, and show us thy glory. As thou passest by, and show us thy glory, so that all the glory of this world shall appear as ash that wondrous thing. This we ask in the holy name of Jesus. Now as we close away the scene as a little soul of us, opening Verse or two, or stand or two of that. What is it? Yes. And then we join in. Our Father, we pray, make us hungry. Thou knowest the trouble with thy church, Lord, is we're not hungry. We have, we have the thing because we have the text that tells about it. We have the doctrine and think we have the object because we can describe it. We think we've eaten when we're dying of malnutrition. We think we're full when we're about to cave in from empty. Oh, God, what are appetites? What are appetites? We pray. Drive us, we pray thee, like this. Roll by the until we're dehydrated and our tongues are hanging out. Until we, we run to the water brook. Cry a drink, a drink. Oh, God, upset us, disturb us, perturb us. Worry us, make us anxious until we're through with ourselves. Until we open our hearts like the sun in the rain. Until we open our vessels as the widow's vessels were open at the top and were filled with oil. Oh, oil of God, come and fill us. And make us so hungry we can't live until we're filled. This in Jesus' holy name. But nothing compared with the deep knowledge of God Himself. No, no. You know this knowledge of God, nobody can argue out of you. 
Nobody can add you out of it. They can come and point at this hand or finger at you and call you every name the law permits. And when they're sick, you feel bad about it, but you still know you know God. They can come and argue with you with you and give you scripture to prove you're all wrong, and when they're sick, you can say, well, you're a pretty good expositor, but I happen to know God. You got things too late. You come to prove I can't, and I never can to prove it. So we can know God for ourselves, that I might know Him. The dear friends, some of you know that. Some of you are trying through. I've gotten letters, I've gotten, I've gotten phone calls, I have had faces, and I know that some of you are finding the Lord in a new, rich, deep, and wonderful way, and I'm glad. But, uh, how about the rest? Can't we speak it? Now let's pray. Now before we do pray, we're going to find out if there are ways to which say, I want you to remember me. For your own, your own longing heart is talking back to you. The feeling in you is bigger than you are. And you're not here maybe quite about it all intellectually, but you're God. And you want to know what Paul knew. And you want to know what God has revealed in this to the experience of his saints down the years. And you say, pray for me, Mr. Tozer, that I might have the spiritual courage to arise and sit behind me and under my feet. Whatever it is, friendship, ambition, or plan, or gifts or victories or anything that prevents me to be. Would you raise your hand real carefully? Anybody here would you say, I do want to put your hand up to them and say, yes, I do. And who else? You want to know, yes, I say, I see. And who else? You want to know, yes, yes. Yes. God, for the hands that have gone up, now let's have a little time. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was with you, and in the beginning was the We thank you, Lord Jesus, that when we come to thee, we go back to the beginning. Back of Paul, and back of Moses, back of Abraham, and back of Adam. We go back to the beginning. Come, mm-hmm. like it is in us. And in thee we see the power. Through thee we know the power. Through the cross of the cross and not. In the name of thy son Jesus, we pray, Father, that thou wilt take thee, take it, and these older ones, and leave them in these houses, in these the ways that may be rough and hard and even painful and chastening, but leave them until all is behind them, everything's behind them, and they put behind them everything, everything, what and what they're proud of and what they're ashamed of, and what the victories they've had and the defeats they've had, and the mistakes they've made, oh, we pray to leave these things on and teach them how to look forward and not backward. And you know, Father, that when we talk about these things, some come because they feel that they be good, they can swallow, or a text they can memorize, or some one little trick they can do. Oh, Lord God, it is not thus we see. But rather by the cultivation of the knowledge of God and by faith and humility and prayer and trust and confidence and obedience and trusting onward till at last the mountain top appears in view and up out of the mist we come to the sunlight come holy spirit heaven come with all our chicken power when we pray thee and set about this table of love Pray for all of these, when we pray, Lord, to some who didn't request the prayer for anything, but who should have all uh, this night without even salvation. And we pray for all the churches that are coming 
Bring your service to you within half an hour, sir. Bless them all, Lord, and grant these cozy that every nut may have to do, and that every shepherd might and every father be come from home. If there be victory in the church of Jesus Christ, this night be brought all the time. If he will give praise, we ask this thing through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, we have no doubt of what thou hast done for us, but we pray that thou wilt open our eyes to behold and our hearts to understand and feel and our spirits to see and penetrate to all the glory that thou hast brought to us. We may receive into our own souls and lives. We pray that thou will help us that we may hear the voice again today, that voice that created all things, that voice that raised the dead, that voice that speaks and men are clean, and that voice that will someday untune the sky. We pray that thou will help us to hear it. Father, we're both unworthy to speak and to hear, but we come by grace alone, through faith, and that not of ourselves, it's thy gift to us. Will thou make us, we pray thee, to speak worthily? Enable us to hear worthily, O Lord, this hour, for Christ's sake. Amen. Father, we pray thy blessing upon what's been being human, Lord. Maybe some things were said that should have been said. Expunge them from our minds. Everything that should impress them upon our minds. May we go out from here humbly glad we're Christians. Humbly glad for our fathers who taught us the Bible. For our fathers who translated the Bible for us. For our fathers for us. For our fathers who wrote expositions and commentaries and, and devotional books and beat our hearts on in a day of pollution and pornography. Great God, we thank thee for all the good men, thee for every worshiping saint. We thank thee for Wesley, who wrote these great hymns, and Grant, and Watts, and Montgomery. We thank thee for that fountain of all hymnology, David, who now didst to stand and say, Oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. God help us today. If we go out from here, we pray we may go all the beauties that are about us, but appreciate him as Christians, seeing him not as pagans, but seeing him as Christians, birds and trees, worshiping the God who made the birds and trees. Amen. Father, we pray. This thou, this truth, O God, thy mercies are abundant. Mercies full and free, and have they not, O oh God, found out me? We thank thee for thy mercies, thy many, abundant, full mercies. Now we pray that thou wilt help us to lean back and trust and not be afraid, hate sin and love righteousness, flee from iniquity and follow after godliness, but always know that in all that we do, Mercy is around us like the air underneath us, as the earth above us as the stars. We live in a merciful world to serve a merciful God. We live in our being in the abundant mercies of the triune God. Graciously grant us, we pray thee, properly and to apply it to our hearts. And we give thee praise to Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Forgive him, Father, oh, forgive he knows not that by it is by me he lives. Father, we pray thy blessing upon the word given. We pray that thou will help us, that our faith might mount up like an eagle, stretch its broad wings, and soar so high that nothing can pull it down. 
Eagle can look upon the sun, we pray that we may look upon thy holy son, at the right hand of the majesty, and that we may be grateful to the point of tears and tenderness, that he who was God and very God of very God gave himself and hung on yonder tree. Bless us as we receive of the Lord's Supper. In Christ's name, amen. O oh, our kind Father, we thank thee thou hast not left us in our sins. Thou hast thought of a way for us I was planted in Christ Jesus, thy Son, our Lord. Thou hast worked it out by blood and tears and groans and death and the miracle of resurrection and the wonder of ascension to the right hand of the throne. And thou hast sent the Holy Ghost to say everywhere throughout the world, He that believeth him on him shall not perish. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Oh, we thank thee, Heavenly Father. Time is running out. And it's later than we know. And then thou hast warned us gently and carefully to be careful what we do with this message. Be careful lest we take too much for granted. To be careful lest the devil get the seed, lest the cares of life take the seed, lest we be Christians only in name, and have a name that we live but be dead. My God, it would be better that we should perish from the naked slopes of the Baleen Valley than from the rich precincts of Toronto. Better that we should die pagans, cutting off the necks of chickens try to appease some bestial God and to die Canadians and Americans and Englishmen and Scotsmen who heard from their childhood this wondrous message but have let it go. Oh God, what do we say to thee in that time? What answer can we have? From the bali naked savage men smeared with pig grease and clay and stand up and say, we never heard it. But who here can say it? Oh, God, we've heard it, and we've heard it, and we've heard it until we're bored with it. God, forgive us. Give us a new something, a new baptism of interest, a new, a new afflatus of, 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 of fresh interest in the things of the gospel. Oh, God, we pray. But thou will help the friends here tonight. Lord, we pray for those who are well saved, that they might become so keenly concerned for others that aren't saved, that they would continue to work for their salvation hard and struggle and pray and labor until one by one they're gathered in. Grant, we pray, our God, that there might be a harvest of souls that have new. We're overdue, Lord. It's long overdue. But God, we're not giving up. We expect to see it. We expect to see it, Father. We expect thee to give us a harvest. We expect to see young people that brought in and older people. We expect to see the, the, the new faces and hear new voices and, and see the travail of thy soul, O oh Lord. We expect this. Because thou art God, and because Jesus Christ thy Son said if we wanted anything asked in his name, and you'd give it to us. Because that's why the gospel is being preached. That's why we're here. So we expect to see it, God. We don't believe that thou dost speak to men vainly or say anything to anybody carelessly. We believe that when thou dost make a promise, that promise is as good as gold. So we're expecting, Father. We're expecting thee to do it. Oh, well, around the margins, our relatives, our friends, our neighbors, people all around here that are not here tonight, but they can be here, and they can be brought in, and they can be one. 
We pray, O oh God, fall on the churches. Fall on this church. Fall on our people. We pray with a, with a new afflatus of love for men. That we may not depend on the word from the pulpit only, but that we might supplement that word with earnest soul winning efforts. Now come on us, Father. We're looking for help, O oh God. Once more we remind thee that we have for this church a vision of a strong, Bible-based, morally right, solid, vigorous, active, loving church that the people will feel when they come in here that surely it is the, the Lord's in this place of a truth. The Lord may be slow, but we believe it will come. Now, as I said, first the, the, the little sprout, and then the stalk, and then the ear, and then the full corn in the ear. So put us through those stages fast, Lord, because we need the corn, and we need it fast. We need it soon. Great God, need us. We're trusting thee. We pray thee for any tonight that are not committed, that have been, the Holy Ghost has found them somewhere there among the, among the rocks, or on the wayside, or among the thorns. The Spirit of God has found them, we pray thee, that they might come out from there, and be good ground. And receive the truth into our honest hearts. And bring forth fruit with patience under perfection. We ask this in Christ's name. Now let's sing this number, please. Number is it?